what if I told you there's a way to go from one heart to one million? Would you take it? Well, it first started when I joined the server. The heart festival begins now. In five hours, anyone below 20 hearts will be banned. Rules are simple. No killing. Good luck. Oh my, okay. I need go. Oh no. After hearing that, everyone rushed outside the building. Find the best way to gain hearts. And that's when I came across this. Yo, yo, Quiff, Quiff, come over here. Come over here, dude. Okay, what's this? Yo, this is an MLG challenge. So if you give me one heart and you clutch with this water bucket, I'll give you two hearts. Okay, I've got the heart right here. Take that. There you go. Perfect. And it, bro, it's okay, kind of, it's kind of deep. Oh my God, it's kind of deep. Oh, wow. Okay, do I get the heart? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I barely missed that. Turns out everyone was breaking the rules. Killing was allowed and I was their target. But when I reached the surface, no one was there. They left that netherite, so I'm gonna take that. And now I have full netherite. But I can keep this or I can sell it. And my first customer Cycrum's here. Oh, hello, hello. What do we have here? I have the full set of netherite. Two hearts for this full set. You know what? You've got a deal. Perfect. I've just got two hearts. Go do business with you. With my loss of one heart, I made a profit of two. And this is where the real plan begins. See, when everyone was off the server, using every resource, I made this. And this is low key the perfect time to use this. I have two hearts. So if I redeem one like that, I can put the remaining heart in the machine and use that one heart to make a profit of 10. Okay, sheep, welcome to the underground casino. Thank you, man. I'm kind of excited to be here. Well, don't be scared. I can't kill you because there's a rule against no killing. But this is a roulette machine. I see we're both after 20 hearts. Yeah, I, I mean, I made to do some risky business, you know? Exactly. And I see you have some hearts right there. Yes, I do, man. So where do I put my, uh, where do I put my hearts? Okay, you put your hearts in here. All right, I'm going to start off with one, man. Let's see how this goes first. Okay, perfect. What color do you want? Red all the way. It's going. It's going, it's going bro. I wanted I to win. win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are going to win. It's red. You just won yes. a heart. All right, look man. At this, that. Is, this is good. This is good. Now he had a sense of security and he wanted to play more. So this was the perfect time to rig the machine and steal all the hearts he has. Okay, sheep, I'm back. And right, are you ready? Again? How many hearts do you want to go with? I'm going to go with two this time. Come, Come on, on, dude. I'm Give me that red. Give me that red. What? what? How is that? Okay, dude. You've just lost two hearts. I'll go again then. Just, just one more time. Just one more time. You really took all your hearts off. Okay, you're going yeah, man, all I in. I've got 13 right here. Black. Oh, no, dude. No. Oh, you I, I need to go. Bro. Yeah, you I don't need really to go, have much bro. time. I need to go. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You actual idiot. Oh, my God. With sheep now going all in, I had enough hearts to play it safe for the festival, but someone unexpected came in. Where is Rage's armor? I what do you mean? You have it, dude. I know you got the netherite. I didn't, I didn't steal anything. What do you mean? I will literally kill you. Okay, stop. I'm off. I'm off. I'm off. Okay. You. Okay. Yo, you know what? Okay, I have an idea. You could take this one heart. We'll call it even right now. Give me all of the hearts in your inventory. No, I've all worked hard for these. Okay, Drop okay, the okay, hearts. chill. Yeah, take them. We'll call that even for the gear. Just in case anything went wrong, I had a backup plan, which was a self-destruct button, and it was ready to use. Yeah, sucks to suck. Goodbye. Quick, what are you doing? Bro! He exploded. But since he died to an explosion, all my hearts are gone. And I'm actually back to square one. But I have an idea with these two items. After some testing, I found a way to extract absorption hearts and make them like the real thing. If I just eat this gapple, eat this straight after, the glitch will keep these hearts here forever. But if I write remove heart one, I've somehow gained a heart and my absorption's gone down. I actually have seven hearts and I can redeem them, meaning right now I have nine hearts. But there's a slight problem with this. As soon as my absorption runs out, I drop down to two hearts. But the glitch will be useful. Since I don't want to break the rules because I'll be instantly caught, I'm gonna use the fake hearts to hire a player and then get that player to kill someone for me. Stealing real hearts. Kipley! Wow! Whoa! Hello? Is, there, is anyone around here? No, I, I don't think so. Okay, Why? perfect. There's 20 hearts right here. You can redeem them. These are sus, man. 20 hearts? I'm gonna redeem them then. Oh my god, it worked. Wait, what? You weren't lying? But I have 50 seconds left of absorption. And as soon as the absorption disappears, she'll realize the hearts are fake and I'll be her number one target. So I need her to kill someone fast. What's the catch? What do you want for this? Kill Toby right now. I just have to kill a person? That's fine, man. I can I, do it. All right, go. Well, I don't have much time. It's time for my part to come in. Now, before she kills Toby, I'm going to rig his floor with hoppers. So when he dies, the hoppers will collect all the loot and I'll be rich. But I can just sneak under his house like this. Okay, I've run out of hoppers. Time to leave. Oh, she's gone in. It's nothing personal, Toby, all right? Oh, no, I was hired to do this. You have to die. He just died. She actually killed him, which means if I check the hoppers now, it'll have all his loot. She's right above me, but that doesn't matter because I can open up these hoppers. Four hearts. 
Let's go. Where did my hearts go? Hello? Oh, my absorption disappeared. I'm it's coming typing. for you, you little scammer. Um, I've got the heart I needed. All right, let me kind of get away. What a bad time for my absorption to disappear. Once I successfully escaped undetected, I ran back to my house and counted all my hearts. So I've got four hearts here and I have five in this chest, which means I have nine plus the one I have right now. So I have two hours left to get 10 hearts or I'll be banned. So should I redeem these right now? I could redeem it. Oh, yes! I was just killed and I can't respawn since that was my last heart. But the person she killed, that wasn't actually me. See, I suspected she'd come back for revenge. And that's why I swapped my main account with my ult. So if she did come to kill me, it'd be the wrong account and it'd be the end of her life. Because underneath my house was a massive TNT trap. Wait, what? Oh my god! Oh, it's going off! Oh my god! What? But I don't need the gear to blow up, please. But luckily the war dropped. So please tell me my loot didn't blow up. Because if my hearts blew up, I've lost everything. And I'll only have one hour to get 20 hearts. Hot! Hot! Yes, I've got my nine hearts. So I'm going to redeem them. And I only need nine more. There's a player known for hoarding hearts. And I'm going to try steal them. I then messaged Sheep to cause a distraction. He was going to blow up some TNT so I could sneak in and steal the hearts. Okay, it's blown up. It's blown up. It's blown up. It's blown up. That was a perfect distraction. So now while they're investigating the explosion, I can sneak in. What oh my happened God, down chicken. here? Who did this? Where is the chest? Where can it be? But what's up there? Are the hearts at the top of the castle? I've still got some time. You might want to hurry up. They're coming back up. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Nope, nope, nope. Is it in here? Yeah. Yes. But if I take the hearts from this chest, it'll alert everyone I've just stolen them. And I'll be caught. So that's why I'm going to quickly eat this and then eat this. And then I'll replace the real hearts with a fake one, which will hopefully not alert anyone. All I do now is put the fake hearts, take the real hearts, and nothing's popped up in chat. And they're still down there, which means a successful heist. I'm going to tell him I'm done and leave the place. Let's just take the back exit. Hurry, go. Okay, MLG. Keep MLGing. And I'm out. And now I've successfully stolen from the strongest player on the server. Why is it said that in chat? Is it because my absorption disappeared? No, 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 no. This wasn't supposed to happen. As soon as the fake hearts disappeared, the trap still activated, meaning everyone's after me. If you don't bring my hearts back in 20 minutes, you're dead. I can't really kill an immortal player. But I also need these hearts. So it's time to make the best heart stealing machine. See, everyone on the server is killing people to steal hearts. But they're kind of stupid because instead I'm stealing hearts through a legit way. I mean rigging, but it's still legit. Now I'm going to inflate this casino with fake hearts. So when they give me the real hearts, they'll win the fake ones and it'll be a win-win until theirs disappear. And weirdly enough, you can't actually stack these hearts. Well, it doesn't really matter. Time to tell people to come to my casino and now everyone will take the bait. Hey yeah. Quiff, I heard you get some hearts from this wonderful casino. Yeah, you actually can. It's essentially a double nothing machine. And now you can continue to double your hearts until you can win 65 four hearts. Life's worth the risk. Alright, how many hearts are you going to put in? Four hearts. Alright, there you go. Four. Now you can live with one heart. Or you can double it. Four, yes. Okay, you're up to the second to last one, and okay. you can okay. walk away with 40 hearts. I don't want, you know, my chances here, I've already got as lucky as I have. I probably shouldn't push it. Okay. I'm going to take it. So I'm going to claim, and there you go. 40 hearts. Good for you. Well, thank you. Have There's a good the day, door. Sir. Yep. And oh my god, I've got 32 hearts, which means I have a total of 61. I now have enough hearts to give back to Kai and to complete the festival. Alright, I see you have arrived, but where are my hearts? I know I took 29 from you, but I've given you 31. Two extra hearts. See? Now we're even. Just don't kill me. Why do you need them? You've got 400 hearts. Because you stole them from me, Quip. Okay, it's fine. We're even now. We can go even. We'll never be even. Now I'm gonna kill you. Oh my! Yo, 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 relax! Relax! Oh, oh my! Yo, relax! Whoa! Yo, yo, you okay, bro, buddy? You okay? Bro, I almost died. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, what I didn't tell you was just in case anything went wrong, I set up an end of stasis chamber for situations like this. But now the player's after me, and there's no way I'll survive. But with everything in my inventory, there's no way I can beat them in a fight. And that's why I'm here, first of all. Kinda need someone to spawn from you guys. Anything. Oh my, yep. I kinda need to come with me for a second. And after successfully lowering the warden back to the trap, the first part was ready. Okay, and he's just kind of chilling there. Since the immortal player has 400 health, I need to do a crazy amount of damage for them to kill him, which will be every trap I know to mankind. And it's kind of done. And once I cover this entire place with TNT, there'll be enough damage in here to kill her. And I'll survive the festival. I just need to wait down here for them to fall down. Because Sheep's going to lure her to the hole. And once he traps her, she's going to fall in. Oh my gosh, this is such a long Oh! Hole. What is happening? How are you? Quick, it was How you! Are you? 
Warden! Warden, attack! Oh my god, I can't see anything! And there's a warden! How did you stop oh doing it, Hell? No! Oh my gosh, quit! Oh! No! You're no, gonna no, pay no, for this! No, 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 I didn't mean for this to happen. Oh my. Quick, you're gonna pay oh, for this. You stop. can't just get away stop. with that. Nope, nope. No, don't run from me. You made me lose all nope. of my heart. Okay, festival's over, festival's over. No more attacking, no more attacking, no more attacking, no more attacking. I was saved by the bell. Since the festival was over, PvP was finished. And we had to all meet at spawn. Wow, you actually made it with two minutes left. Yeah, I actually did. I put the hearts in the chest then. All right, I am. Relax, okay. Okay, right here, 20 hearts, all gonna go in. There you go. I've done. I'm not gonna get banned. Perfect. Good work, good work. That would be great. <laughs> if there was a festival. Yeah, there was no festival, Cliff. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got the hearts. I needed kill him. Wait! You guys knew about this! Dead, Why Quinn. did you guys know about this? Oh my yo! Die. Wait, I've just been baited. I've just been baited. Yo, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Nope. Can't kill me if I'm disconnected. What just happened? After barely escaping with my life, I needed to take my heart back, which led me here. All right, I'm going first. Oh my gosh, she's actually going for the hay bale. Yeah, okay, I'm using the water bucket. I'm not gonna be risky with it. I'll see you guys later. Wait, Rage, I don't have any of these items. Oh, I know, buddy. What do you mean? Wait. Good luck. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I have ladders. I have ladders. Ooh, find a corner, find a corner, please. Oh my god, did I just make that? Say cheese. Wait, Aves, turns out they're taking a picture. And now I was stuck in a picture hanging on some wall with no escape. No, 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 this can't be possible. Why can't I fight this village or him? Please tell me you're moving. What about you, I am Golem? Please move, do something. He's flapping it. I can't attack him. I can't do anything. But I can break blocks somehow. It turns out everything in this picture is still. The mobs don't move. And whatever they do to the picture happens inside here too. I need to think of an escape. What is down here? Can I not just like jump out? No, it seems like this is like a blocked space to get them back i have a plan first i need to get the camera and i know aves is holding this close to her but to bait her out in the open i need to get her pet and bring it over to my house and after framing someone close to her she'll come running at that point it's pretty simple i set up a massive tnt trap and when she gets close i blow it up and voila the camera will be mine but now it's time to actually escape i'm literally in the middle of nowhere right now okay luckily i can make a crafting table instantly i can make a boat theoretically i can use the boat to maybe glitch out of here whatever this is the boat won't work. Oh my- Oh my god. They're turning the photo around. If they turn the photo, the whole landscape changes too, which I actually will lead to my death, which is not what I want. I've just lost a heart. Why is this even a thing? It seems like every minute I'm in the painting, I lose a heart for them to gain. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They changed it again. They changed it again. Are they turning the painting outside? It seems like they're turning the photo outside, which is leading to me falling. I need to think fast. I can make a crafting table. Using the furnace, I can put the iron in here. And using the remaining wood, I can do whatever I want with this iron. If a boat doesn't act actually work i could try somewhat better instead i could use minecart and rails and maybe glitch out that way make some rails i have enough just for a minecart that's all my iron gone right now and they've changed it back to normal somehow which works out in my favor so if this is a corner can't i just place a minecart and just glitch out like this oh but it doesn't actually turn oh my god Oh my god i used the honey block to go let's not mess about i've lost my minecart my minecart up there right now oh no Oh my god. What if we just uh, light this thing on fire right here? Oh my god, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Are they lighting the fire? Oh my god, they're lighting the phone on fire. Yeah, let's just get everything in here. Yeah, yeah there we go. Him. They're lighting the phone on fire and I might currently die here. All the houses are burning too. I've got no more wood. With all the resources now burned and no ideas, I was infinitely stuck. Wait, is that an Enderman I see over there? You can't attack. <gasps> my last escape. My last escape. If I just put rails there, I still have some blocks. This is going to be tough. I have to go in here. Oh, oh, end of end of Where's our landing? Where's our landing? Where's our landing? Okay, I'm finally back out. I can now start on the plan. After finally being free, I made my way to the walls dividing this server. And using my plan, I was about to get infinite hearts. Currently, I don't think there's anyone in their base, which means I may have time to do this. But there's a slight problem, like I mentioned. Since I'm currently below 10 hearts, if I illegally enter these walls, I'll be put into adventure mode where I can't break anything. Okay, like I thought, since I'm illegal here, I'm in adventure mode and I can't break out, which might make this plan a little bit harder. First, I need to find out exactly where Aves is hiding her pet. If I go inside this house, so I'm gonna close this door and leave. Moving on to the second house? After spending two minutes looking around this house, I found nothing. Ooh, but one thing I found is Rage's spyglass. Now there's two things I can use this for. One, I can locate the pet easily. And two, I can frame Rage by leaving this as evidence. Coming to the conclusion, this means it's Aves' house. 
So I can't need to find where this pet is. I didn't find the pet on any floors. So I rushed to the top. I may have included a slight dilemma right now. I can't really break in. And I see the pet right there. Normally, I could just mine in and take the pet. Or I could make a button and place it. But since I'm in adventure mode, I can't do neither. So what if I bring these creepers all the way to the top of the house and use them to explode the door? With that, I can steal the pet. Okay, there's also a slight problem where if they hit me once, I will die. I lost too many hearts in the painting. After struggling with the creepers for two minutes, they finally followed the ladder, making my life easy. Up the ladders, please. Oh my god, okay. An aviator. Okay, that's fine. That was a little tough, but I also got resources. Leaving Rage's evidence behind, I took the pet and ran back to my area, past the walls, and set up bait. Okay, come through these doors real quick before anyone notices. And I'm back in survival. Perfect. Follow, 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 follow. With what I have left, I replaced this entire dirt area into a minefield. So when Aves comes running, she'll blow up, leaving me with the camera. I need to make sure this kills her because Aves has a lot of hearts. That's my only worry right now. I'm just going to casually wait for Aves. With Aves on her way now, I kind of want a good angle. Rage, I'm, I'm going to find you. Why do you put me in such a poor area? This is so uncool. Dude, I'm so glad you're okay. Oh my god, please, please, please. Oh my god, I'm so dead. Oh my god. And I just gained a heart. I just gained a heart, which means I finally have the camera. Oh my god, look at me. With now the most powerful item on the server in my hands, I had to test it out. And this is why I framed Rage. I know Rage is currently hiding in a spot no one will look for, which is the ancient city. So what if I take a picture of Rage in the ancient city while a warden's spawning? That's gonna be infinite hearts. But the problem is, what ancient city? Okay, that completely doesn't look out of place. It makes sense, because Wool doesn't actually spawn wardens, so he's hiding in a good spot. But what he doesn't know if I was to shoot that skull sensor right there, a warden should spawn and I take a picture. I'm gonna do this and hopefully he comes out. And the warden spawned! The warden spawned, which means... Wait, what? What is that? Take a picture. Come on, please. What would even spawn that? Picture taken! Oh my god, he keeps killing me, dude. What the heck? And oh my god, he's currently stuck in the photo. I'm stuck here. There's, it's just like a, I can't get out. I can't, I can't move. Turns out even though he was dying, I wasn't gaining hearts at all. Which means my plan backfired since I wasn't the one killing him. I'm signing off. Yeah, suck it, Rage. So he's completely gone right now. And wait, why have I lost a heart? Oh my god, okay, wait, this camera's a problem. It turns out every time you take a photo, you lose one to two hearts. Which makes the camera completely useless right now. Okay, first of all, let me get out of here. Because Rage is now dead. And somehow I've been left with one heart. I've lost hearts down here. But I wouldn't be me without a second plan. And this plan's pretty simple. I'm gonna lure someone over to my shop and when they're in the heart machine, I'm gonna take a picture. So they're infinitely stuck in a draining loop and I'll gain as many hearts as possible. Quiff, I've heard there's a massive bounty on you. I'm on one heart, so I can't do anything and I don't live. Back up. I don't want you to fight. Boom. You should have lost the heart, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so if you do that again, you will gain double now. So pretty much that's what all it does. Okay, see, you've lost another that heart. so powerful. You are. You, this is a duplication. This is a harsh duplication Let's machine. Do this. And that uh, say cheese. Oh my god, Nimsy's infinitely trapped. Ah, uh, see yo, this is this is the best thing. Let me out, please. There's no lane out. Having Nimsy in the photo made my heart increase by a lot. I'll give you Kipley's account detail. Okay, wait. If he can somehow give me Kipley's account, this could work. If I could gain Kipley's account, I could end this server by going inside the walls and having survival mode. Oh my god. Look at the heart I've got. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna burn him. And he's dead. Now access to Kipley's account, I could finally take over this server and get infinite hearts. Okay, I've spawned on Kipley's account. I can use. I'm in survival mode. Oh my god. I've never had these perms before in here. Okay, it's right there. Kip. Oh my god. Do you know where Quip is? I have a plan to kill him. I need him. No, no. Okay, I can't no. speak. I have to stay muted. Gunpowder. Gunpowder. I need gunpowder right now. Gunpowder. All. All. Give me all. Okay, that's all I have. Quip's out to kill. Just watch your back. Uh, I have a plan to kill him soon. Okay, I have a little bit more TNT now, which I think should make this a lot easier and better. After filling this place with TNT, the final step of the plan was ready. Everyone come to me right now. Kip, Lee, you know where Quip are you okay? Say cheese, boys. What? Yep, bye. I was stuck inside the photo. Yeah, you didn't expect that, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is this God. how it is? I, I have changed this exploding. Oh my god, did that just really work? I can't believe it fell for this. After they managed to escape from the photo, they wanted revenge and decided to corner me to steal my heart. Wait, yo guys, Quiff, you were caught using a totem. Now we're gonna remove your heart as punishment. Wait, what? Goodbye, Quiff. What? What's my heart? I've got no heart! Oh my god, I have no health! Wait, uh, slime block, slime block, slime block. Clutch with this, please! 
Oh my god. Oh, gravel. The gravel's falling. Okay, boat. Oh my god, I landed in the boat. Oh my. Where's the gravel gone? As soon as I placed the slime block, the gravel fell, revealing the true trap. Okay, first of all, mono chicken. And I have 0.01% health, which means a chicken could kill me. He's on 0% health. How did he not die to fall damage? Because there's a boat. What do you mean? Either way, I don't have much in my inventory. Because since I'm on a boat, there's no way for me to bridge out. Oh my god, I can place a block there. Wait, I can build in the void. And my Y is minus 61, which means because the terrain wasn't updated, I could build in the void. Back place wall there and climb up. Oh my god. And it seems like the chicken fell just in time. If I was a second later, I would have fell and died with them but i have enough blocks to actually build up now but with my current health any sort of damage would instantly kill me which includes walking into a bush go check up on him he can't get his heart back this means they're gonna go see if i'm still there and if i'm not they'll hunt me down and that's where you come in. Okay, don't mind this hole. How does my ult have lower health than me? Well, it doesn't matter. Because I'm gonna leave my ult in the trap. So if they come check, they'll see I'm still there. Which will give me time to steal my hearts. I should leave this account here. Because I'm far away, that looks like me. So before they arrive, let's leave. And let me get my hearts back. All my real hearts are currently inside a vault. And there's over 10 netherite guards. And if I want to take my hearts back, I need to kill them one by one. Oh my god, they're all there. There's so many of them. And that must mean my hearts are right inside. But I have 0.1% health, which means at this point a grass block could kill me. First, I need hearts. And to do that, I need to make a shop. And that's why I'm in this area. And the shop's now made. Although I really don't have anything to sell. So first, I need some OP loot. And for that, I'm making a stone sword. And then I'm going to enchant the sword. And then using the anvil, I'm going to name it netherite sword. This is because enchanted stone and enchanted netherite look exactly the same. And if I'm fast enough, I could scam someone for hearts. And I have my amazing netherite sword. The plan is to sell this sword. And then using that loot, I can enter the vault. Where I can take back my real hearts. Because I can't stand 0.1% health forever. So I'm going to say come to my shop near spawn for OP sword. And now I wait for my first customer. Hey, can I get the OP sword you're talking about? Oh, I see you've already got hearts. Okay, uh, how many hearts you got? I have three. There you go. Give me the three hearts real quick. Here are the hearts. All right, perfect. Yeah, go go for it. Look, see, it looks matching with your gear. No refunds, by the way. That's fine. Oh my god, he actually gave me three hearts, which means I've successfully scammed one player. Okay, just doing this. I was never here. Oh my god, I almost died. Okay, that's gonna burn. All evidence is now gone. Wait, I can't redeem these hearts. These are actually hearts. But it seems like when I try to redeem them, nothing happens. Oh my god, it's because I don't have a full heart. So for me to get any sort of hearts, I need to go inside that building. But there's too many guards. So I need to lure one guard away and kill him, which will create a big distraction, allowing me to walk in. And luckily, I have a totem right here. If I put a totem in my inventory, it'll leak my cords, meaning they'll come running to kill me. So I'm gonna do just that. The infamous Squiff has held a totem at my cords. Okay, I kinda need to get out of this area. Which means right now they're heading over. But I've still got three minutes before they arrive. And that's why I'm gonna dig this out. If they even punch me once, I'm instantly dead. Which makes this an unfair fight. And this is exactly why I'm digging a pitfall. Since they have infinite hearts, the pitfall won't kill them, which means I need an ally to finish them off. Right behind this wall, there should be an ancient city. And oh my god, this is what I need. Because my ally is gonna be the warden. The only mob strong enough to finish them off. Which means I need to create a bunch of sound. I kinda need you to follow me. I need you to follow me. After getting the warden to quickly follow me, the trap was set in time. Okay, stay there. Just don't hit me, please. All I need to do now is place that there. Place that like that. And the trap is set. Now when they see me, and walk in they're gonna fall to their death and i'll successfully gain a heart oh my wow. oh my god he fell in which means all i do is just jump all the way down come on mlg i can't fail here i can't fail oh, oh no. i killed him 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 let me get away before the water kills me wait but i didn't gain a heart seems like the rules don't apply to me even if i was to kill a person i still wouldn't be able to gain a heart don't hit me don't hit me don't hit me don't hit me and i've just successfully gotten stacked i now have netherite gear but since i've now killed a guard they've all left the vault and they're now hunting me down okay no one's actually here but the problem is the inside is covered by a border but luckily i got golden apples from shepherd if i eat them both i'm able to do an immortality glitch which means the heart i have right now will stay and now i can enter the border without dying oh my god oh my god oh my god come on please just enter the border enter the border yes okay i'm inside which means underneath me should be my heart okay i'm gonna safely go down quiff's hearts don't take my hearts are right here which means if i were to redeem these hearts i'd be able to get my original health back and i can take revenge david musquiff has stolen hearts from the vault okay that doesn't matter let me redeem yo wait i can't redeem why can't i redeem it turns out my hearts were never here they weren't anywhere because they had been destroyed and i was permanently stuck on 0.01% health. They're all flying right now. Wait, 
He just fell, which means there must be a border in where they can use creative mode. But the problem is, if I want my heart back, I need to kill everyone on the server. But how do you kill someone in creative mode? And this is where you come in. Okay, yeah, he's AFK. I need to take them away from the building. And to do that, I'm going to first sabotage Donnie. And that's where this chest comes in. I'm going to lead the hoppers to a chest with a totem. And the chest is right here. Okay, it's left. And it should be making its way in here to this chest. Nice. And then break this chest. Donnie Bob has a totem at the cords. I've successfully framed Donnie. Now, everyone in creative mode will rush towards him to get answers. And that's the time I strike. Okay, they've all left. But wait, there's still one person there. I now have enough time to find what makes them crave mode. Oh my god, it's that. It's that. It's that. It's that. It's a command block. How did they get this? It turns out before the owner left, he gave them a command block to make the server more beautiful. But they abused it. But I still have 0.1% health. So if I try to break the command block, I'll die. Oh my god, I still have the golden apples. I just need to eat this real quick. Build this machine. Click it. And it's gone. Which means everyone's crave mode is now gone. And now I can kill them one by one. And my first target is right there. Because right now, Foot Beef has over 50 hearts. And in a normal 1v1, I'd be destroyed. And that's where I kind of need you again. Will you help me? If I can bring the Warden over to Foot Beef, he'll have a tough time fighting it. And that's where I'll swoop in and kill him. That's why you need to come with me. Fall down, fall down. Go down the stairs, go down the stairs, go down the stairs. I can't get hit or I'm dead. I can't get hit or I'm dead. Whoa, what's that noise? Oh my god, the Warden's right there. I killed him! And my hunch was correct. My heart's gone up slightly. I'm quickly taking this loot. Nope, nope, nope. Don't attack me, bro. Don't attack me. And I've just gained faithful hearts from him, which leads into my next plan. Using the hearts I've just gained, I'm gonna use a casino to lure a player over and sabotage him, meaning I can gain more health. And now we're in my casino, but this casino is currently in the sky. Right below, there's nothing. I'm gonna lure a player in here, and I'm gonna make them win every time. And once I confirm they're one of the people that stole my hearts, I'm gonna rig the casino to blow, killing them and returning some of my heart. And that's why I said come to my sky casino. And now I just wait. What's up, gambling friends? Oh my we back at the boy. casino. I win all the time. What is it? Uh, this one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whack it in. Well, off we go. Whole off we go. Bread. This Give is gonna this. be tough. This is gonna be very tough. Bro, you actually won. Oh, another day, another dollar. Let's oh get it. Oh my god. Do you know how rare that is? You just won like... A hundred hearts. Take those right there. You want to you go green again or... Actually, wait, 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 wait. I'm analyzing the algorithm. Okay, it went green. Oh, yeah, it's going to go red this time. Just red this time. Okay, red I'm this changing time. it to I'm red. I'm all in. I'm all in red. It's red. You were right. Oh, it. my God. Okay, that's two for two. At this point, he was winning and he let down his guard. It was a perfect opportunity to ask him a question. Yo, Sipo, why did you take my hearts, by the way? I you know. I'm just, I'm just hustling, you know? It was nothing personal. While you click the button, I'm just going to go downstairs. Yeah, you click the button <laughs> anytime awesome. you want. Oh, my Oh my god, he died. He actually died. And my heart just filled up even more. With two people now dead, I'm halfway to getting my hearts again. And that's why I'm right here, in front of this alt account. The only two people I need to kill now are the most overpowered. And even with all my traps, I wouldn't be able to kill them. So I need to sabotage their friendship. And this is where this alt account comes in. That's because Sourceless uses this alt account to gain his hearts. He abuses a glitch, and I'm gonna make him regret that. So first of all, I kinda need to move you in a direction. Just keep moving here. Perfect, perfect. Get, just keep moving in this direction. Oh my god, this is so long. Because we're right in the middle of Kipley's house. Wait, where's my ult? It's already starting. Which means I should low-key kind of get away. I don't want him to see me. He must have tapped in. But currently, they're arguing right now. How I dare you? Jacob, man. Are you okay? How Are dare you, okay you try and steal the ball? As they were getting lower and lower, it was time for me to strike. See, what I didn't tell you was I rigged TNT under this entire house. So once they got low, I'd blow it up and I'd gain my heart back. You guys see that? What? Uh, yep. Okay, oh, yeah. No. See you guys. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's it's over. Oh my god, yeah! Oh my god, I've got my heart back. Which means if I now redeem all my hearts... Oh my god, look at me! I've got infinite health now! But after I gained infinite hearts, they wanted me to trade it all to become friends. And that was my mistake. You're going to war, and Quiff, you're not on either side right now. Yeah, that's because none of you guys chose me. I mean, that's obvious, but here's how we're going to handle this. If you make this MLG right here, you can choose whichever side you want to join. Yo, I don't have anything to MLG with. Oh, well, I got something right here for you. There you go. Whoa! Buddy. Yo! Oh, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I need to dodge all this. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, I just survived that. That's crazy. Since I landed, I need to pick a side. The red side has all the overpowered loot and would be the safest choice. So let me go here. Donate five hearts to leave. I only have five hearts. But as soon as I leave for the door, I'll be welcomed on the red team. I just went through here. And why am I in the back here? Is that what that means? They never wanted me on either team. And instead, they've trapped me down here, hoping I slowly die. Okay, what do I have in my inventory? Now, if I could have crafted a boat, I could have glitched out through the wall. Even though I don't have a pickaxe, I'm just going to mine out. It's like a small thing. Oh, you guys are actual idiots for leaving this. I'm gonna just wait. 
Oh, never mind. That's not a new layer. Wait, this leads somewhere else. Why? This is like an infinite trap. And unless I donate five hearts, I'm stuck here forever. If I do remove heart four, I now have four hearts with only one left. So please, what happens if I throw you in here? Can I glitch it by... Wait, it's disappeared. Nothing in here. Brother, can you at least half let me out? But I have no more hearts to give unless I'm trying to get banned. Bro, where did you come from? I heard lava. So if I break through here and... I got pushed in by the pig. Wait. Oh, what are you doing? Are you crazy? All right, let me patch this up. No pig, no. First, I kind of need some food. I want a food, not a saddle. If I put the saddle on the pig, I could maybe ride it out of here. I need to first break this. Come on, pig. You're on your summer. I'm not going to give you any more hearts. Come on, please. Did the pig escape? Oh my God, that almost scared me. One more attempt. Oh, where did the pig go? The war was an illusion. It was never happening. They just wanted me off the server using any means necessary. And now that I'm out, why not get my revenge by creating the biggest war on the server? And the line's right there. Yo, okay, I found it. Now this line covers the entire world. And I'm currently on the red side. And if I cross over, yeah, I'm in the middle. And yes, this is my area. Now, since I'm not on either team, I've just been given a small piece of the middle. And if I'm caught on either side, I'll be instantly killed. But I'm just gonna slowly go over to the blue side i need to build this which will be a small shop to stop my plan okay cool i'm gonna place this here first i need to craft a black chest plate and then enchant it now this looks like netherite and netherite is completely banned on the server but there will be a player trying to abuse this and buy it off me so I need to make a little bit of a death pit because I need a big distraction. And the only way will be to kill a player. And oh my, this worked out in my favor. I just need to play some signs. Add the moss carpet like this. And voila, it's looking great. I just need someone to notice the shop so they can come and kill me. Yo, wait, Quiff, you're not supposed to be. This is the blue side. Oh, okay. Yo, 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 don't kill me, don't kill okay. me. Yo, yo, yo. Listen, 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 okay. listen. You see this chest plate? Is that netherite? Yeah, no, it is. It is. Do you want this chest plate? Right. And we call it even. You know what? I'll take you up on that offer. Take it there. There you oh. go. Thank you. And for that. Yeah, then for that. What? For that, you're dying. I gotta believe. Ooh, wow. All right. Perfect. And now I've kind of infiltrated the blue team. But since Sauceless died, he lost a heart. And this will make people investigate why he died. Uh, hey, yo, Kipley. What? What is this? I don't know. Sauceless just died. And it gives me an opportunity to check that house. The blue team has a special pet. Who is their mascot? And if I was to steal that. It caused so much chaos. Where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hello? Petty, petty. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Bluey! I right, come with me. Since that won't distract him forever, I need to move Bluey to a secret location. And brother, this is where you are. There you go. Your new home. AKA, you're a hostage. But we're in my casino. And I'm gonna lure a player from the red side to play. With the prize being the cat. Now, once they win the cat and take it back home, I'm gonna frame them, which will eventually start the war. I'm gonna tell Skinty to come to my area. This is on my way. This shop is in between both the sides. So we'll instantly see it and come to investigate. Yo, what's up, dude? Oh, you arrived. Okay, perfect. Listen, you see that cat over there? Whoa, 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 dude. Don't aim the bow at it, dude. But you see? Yeah. You can win this right here. No way, Bluey. All you need to do is land on the middle. No way. Okay, all right, all right. What does it cost to play? No, it's completely free. No, wait, dude. I have a, I have a heart, bro. I got you. Dude. With now also acquiring a heart, this was off to a great start. Boom! Okay, we're off, we're off. What are you gonna land on? No! Bro, one off. Bro. Uh, but we'll go again. Just cause. Yeah, let's yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Okay. I beat the cat. Yo, congrats, bro. You won. Woo! Let's go, baby. Louis, you're coming home with me, buddy. Let's go. With Skinzy now taking his cat back home, it was the perfect time to frame him. And I had to travel all the way back to the blue side. So I need to go back inside this house. I'm gonna write yoink. But right now, they don't know who stole the cat. But Skinzy gave me his heart. And it legitimately says Skinzy's heart. Bro, you made this too easy. So I'm just gonna place this here. And that's all the evidence you need. I'm gonna cross back over to my side and watch this all unfold. Hey, Skinzy, I need to have a word with you. Don't play dumb. You stole our cat. This means Kipley's figured it out. And she's after blood. There's a bounty on your head for what you've done? I expected this. And now with Skinzy being a high-profile target, he has nowhere to run. They're gonna find him and kill him, which will start the war. Yo, yo, quit. Yeah? Bro, bro, you framed me, dude. I know you framed what? me. No, 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 relax. I framed you for what? Dude, the cat that you gave me... It was Kipley's, bro. No, no, listen, 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 listen. Why? Is everyone after you right now? Yes, dude. The whole blue team is after me right now, dude. Okay, bro, don't worry here. Um, I can actually help you. You see this? Is this gonna help me, bro? No, it is, it is. Okay, listen, listen, listen. How is this dispenser gonna help me, dude? I'm so confused. Okay, no, no, no. Just, just stand there. Stand, stand there. Inside here, there's seven coal. I want gold. If you get the gold, you survive. Bro, what are you talking about? I needed to keep Skitty distracted. Otherwise, he'd kill me straight away. And I needed 
Kipley to arrive as soon as possible. All right, all right, all right. Listen, listen, listen. Um, there you go. See, you got cold, bro. That's bad luck. That's bad luck. No, yeah. bro. I need the gold. I need the gold. Quiff, dude. I'm not playing these games, dude. I'm not playing games. I'll literally kill you. Okay, you, you, you. Okay, I'll make. I'll make. I'll make. Give me, bro, give me the gold, bro. There you go. You got the gold. You got the gold. Give okay. me the gold. No, no. I found you. Oh, oh, Kipley, oh, Kipley, no. Oh. oh. That was for Bluey. Oh. Hey, why are you wearing blue team armor? There you go. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. All right. You saw nothing. Uh, yeah. Um, I guess I'm red team now, but the plan worked. Kipley killed Skidzy. Meaning blood was now drawn. And the red team wasn't going to sit back and do nothing. The truce was now broken. And the war had officially started. I got a diamond chest plate from Skidzy. And a block of netherite. And now since the war has started, I need to supply gear to both teams. Or oh, this won't be fun at all. Hey, quick. Yo. I know it was you. But since you killed me, I knew it had to have been you. You're the one who's been starting this war. Uh, I don't know what you're on about. Uh... You're the only one that could have done this. And I'm, I'm telling everybody now. Nope. Nope! You, oh my! With Sources now realizing it was all me, the entire plan crumbled. Because if he tells another person, and everyone will be after me. For now, I'm gonna quickly make a small trap, so when he spawns in, he'll kind of suffocate. That's all I kind of need. Yeah, that's good enough for now. He should suffocate in that. Before he joins back, the war needs to already be over. So let's make things worse by splitting the world in half. Because right now, there's the red line and the blue line. And then you have my part in the middle. But imagine if nothing was here. Only the entire void. Only then would it be an actual war. But first, I need TNT and... Yeah, I'm kind of broke. So I'm going to quickly go over to the red side. And pray I won't get spotted by a random person. Do none of you guys have TNT? That's because one player has already taken all the TNT. And hid it away. While he's building the biggest cannon on the world. But if you had TNT, where would you hide? Because there's still so much I need to explore. And that's why I'm back on the blue side. And I need to see Kipley. Kipley, 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 Kipley. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, you're on the blue side, man. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yo. If you move now, I will press this button and the whole place will explode. You will die. Okay. Listen, where is Zetro? Is that really, is that all you need? Yeah, I know you guys are currently at war and I need to find his location. As long as you're not helping him, I'll, I'll give you his location. All right, where is it? Right now, he's under the massive house on the red side. But you need to be careful. Why? He's a dangerous man. You got two hearts above your head. What okay, you uh, can I leave? Can I leave? Yeah, yeah. Go slow though. Okay, time to go back over and boom, <laughs> I'm now red team. I could get one shot right now, but that's the place Kippy led me to. The giant mansion on the red side. Okay, I'm gonna destroy these pressure plates. But he must be around here. Here. But he currently hates me. And if I tried to get TNT off him, I'd instantly die. So the best way is a 1v1 fight. But he is very strong. So my only chance is to become immortal. So I'm back home and I'm going to get my secret chest. And perfect. I've got the notch apples. I've got the gold apples. And it's time to become immortal. Now, since I'm on one heart, I need to make this a fair fight. So I need to abuse this glitch a little bit. Only then will I be able to get infinite hearts. And we're looking good. Saucer still hasn't joined back. So I bought myself another 10 minutes. How this works, I need to drink this potion before I finish it, I need to eat the god apple. I think that might work. Regen 2 here. It's gone back up. If it keeps on doing this, 4, 3, 2, one. And it's gone back to 19. And now that I've become immortal, I could instantly kill Zetro and take all the TNT for myself, splitting the world in two. He's right there. I think he's AFK. Oh my god, you're actually an idiot. You're actually an idiot. Bro! Whoa! Yo! No, 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 no! There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Am I actually gonna die? Am, am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? No. I'm infinitely falling in the void. Look at my why. I'm falling so hard. Did I just get played? But since I was immortal, I was infinitely falling in the void. It was a trap even I couldn't escape. Yo, this is my last gapple. This is my last gapple. Bro, this ain't gonna help in any sort of way. But I had an endostasis inside my house for moments like this. But since no one was on my team, I couldn't activate it. So I had to do it myself. Okay, where am I? I've loaded on my ult. So now if I close the trap door, I should instantly get TP'd here. There we go. Yo, yo, I'm back. That was a crazy trap. But now that I survived, it was time to find Zetro and silence him forever. He's just watching. Yeah, round two, Zetro. Round two, Zetro. Yeah, actual idiot. Yeah, see you later, bro. You're dying in the void this time. Did he have all the TNT on him, though? But as I was thinking that, I instantly found the room. Bro, what is this? I don't think I even need this many. Although, the more, the merrier. All right, there we go. But either way, I have everything I need over here. Perfect. A whole 64. But now I can make the TNT duper that will cut the world in half. A small platform. The TNT dupers need to go both ways. I don't think this should work. There's only one way to test this. Let me first break this. Well, that's off, but it's not really dropping TNT. I guess that was a failure. We try again. Break this. Place that. Place that. It's going off. Yo, that's crazy. It's going off. Oh, yeah. The hole's getting big. Now I just need to do it this entire way. And once I set the TNT dupers off, 
The world will split in half. Half, then what's wrong right with you? There. I saw your flying machines up in the air. The oh, they saw it, they saw it, they saw it, they saw it. Look at those guys. They're trying to figure it out. But before they could figure out who it was and stop the war from happening, I had to be the catalyst. Just own up to it. Stop being little rats and lying in the- Whoa, 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 whoa. Toby! What just happened to Toby? That was Zedro. Zedro! You killed my friend! Oh my, yo, yo, this is crazy. Yo, this line's massive. Yo, what's going on? Saucer's showing the game. Now that he's back, he'll ruin my entire plan. Everyone stopped fighting it was quick. Bro. Wait, where is he? I'll explain soon. Okay, wait, this is bad, this is bad. If Saucers manages to reach them, the entire plan's gonna fail. He said he's on the way. I need to cut him off before he arrives. Saucers. Wait, no, no, not bro, this time. Bro, no. listen, listen, no, listen. No. Bro! As soon as Saucer saw me, he instantly killed me. But that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Because he'll now arrive there and say I'm dead. But then I'll reveal myself was the one who started this entire thing. Wait, then what is he doing right behind you? Yeah, how did you kill Wait, me, what? bro? I've that's, been here the entire time. That's not, this is impossible. How are no. you here? Bro, uh, I've been with? here the entire time. What's happening, dude? You'll see, if he killed me, I would've been banned from the server. I'm a one heart. Sorry, Sourceless, bro, I, I, think I think you're lying. you're lying, dude. Yeah, this hundred percent. I, I guarantee if we went to Sourceless's house right now, we'd find, we'd find some that lead to this wall. I'll show you guys. He's on blue team, all right? He's got nothing to hide. The situation was in my favor. Everyone was doubting Sourceless. And it was the perfect time to strike. I was gonna leave some fake evidence inside his house that would point to him starting this war. Check these chests. Check everything. There's there's some here. Check upstairs. Check upstairs. Yeah, check everywhere. While they're investigating the house, it was perfect time to plant the evidence. I have this book. I just want to steal cat pin on skizzy blow in the middle of these to war. I'm gonna whack it inside this furnace. Yo, did you guys find anything? See, nothing. No, nothing. Bro, I found a book in Quill. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? It Where? was literally in the furnace in the kitchen, bro. Wait, 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 wait. It says steel cat, pin it on Skidzy. Blow up the middle that leads to a war, what? and it's by sourceless. Bro, he planned the whole entire thing. I, I, no, I would have never. And he's not lying that. as well. It is sourceless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was you. It was you. Kill him. Kill yes. him. What? Woo! No! Too easy. It's Later. More. Get out of the yeah. house! Yeah. I'm kind of leaving. It was the perfect time to supply the armor. This is going to be very simple. I'm still currently immortal. Now, the rules are gone. I'm making all this into netherite. Like that. Okay, that's all the netherite I actually had. Because people will now rush to the middle to get stacked up. Boom. Oh. Take that. Oh. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa. Yeah, 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 take that. You can, you take can that. In the middle. Yo, see, I'm getting you guys both stacked here. Take that. All right, come here. Ah! Oh, Come here. Oh, this is great Yo, to watch. Give me water. Give me water. This is great to watch. No. Oh, these guys yeah, are bloodthirsty. Ah, Yo. Come here, you little red rat. No. Yo, no, no way. Oh, I see you guys are the winners. Get to red. Yes. With the red team being completely annihilated, the war was instantly over. And all their hearts had been stolen. We can we can go down there. Oh, what? Toby! Yeah, it was me all along. You actual idiots. I'm gonna bro, let you guys get out of here, bro. It was never sourceless. He was telling the truth. It was actually me, so I'm just here to take all your Wait, hearts. What? 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 No. Yeah. Watch. I'm gonna lie. No, chill, 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 chill. Quip, quip, quip. You don't have to do this. Yeah, uh, no, no. Quip, no, you don't have to do this. You guys are my infinite farming machines. Sucks to suck. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. The war never ends, as long as I'm alive. But there was a player stronger than me, terrorizing the server. And in five hours, I had to fight him. Who would be the true immortal player? Which is why I ended up here. If you guys can land this MLG, you guys will gain a heart. And Quiff, you of all people need these hearts. So, I really uh, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Me. Me, 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 me. Oh my, you guys. Oh, go, go, go. Take a joke. Okay. I don't have anything Quiff, to you. I don't have anything to MLG with. Not really my problem. There you go. And Wait, I pull, I've got it. 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 Oh my god, wait, 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 what is this, what is this? Where am I? Where? Oh my god. Oh my, wait, how am I in the end? I'm in the middle of nowhere. It turns out the MLG competition was fake. They abandoned me in the end. And now every minute I'll be losing one heart. It seems like this is completely void. Okay, it doesn't matter. What do I have in my inventory? Oh, none of this helps. If I start the platform out, will I find something? Okay, I see nothing. I'm completely stranded. And I've lost a heart, no. If I make a crafting table, I can think of multiple ways to escape. Oh my God, I can make another portal. But just as I start building, 
I remembered you can't use the nether portal in the end. And I've just wasted three obsidian. Okay, I can't be wasting resources right now. If I can make a platform, I can summon endermans. And then potentially get an ender pearl. And now I'm on one heart. This is bad. Come on, please spawn. I actually need so much to spawn right there. Or I'll lose my last heart and I'll be banned. The end is currently banned. So that's the entire reason I'm losing one heart every minute. Even if I was forcefully put here. Perfect. Exactly who I wanted. A pearl! Oh my god! Yes! Now I can be risky. I can throw the pearl into the void and maybe land on a block. Or I'll fall all the way down and I've lost the pearl. Wait! Oh my god, I have an idea. I make blaze powder. I make an eye of ender. I can make an ender chest. Place it! And please! Oh, heart! A oh, heart! Oh my god, I now have an extra heart. Okay, what else do I have? Um, let me put all this in my inventory. And oh my god, I've lost my heart again! If I didn't find that heart, I was 10 seconds away from dying. And it would have been all over. Bro, I have a piston and hey, build this. So how does this? None of this works. Oh my god, I've just got an insane idea. Since I'm currently in the middle of the end void, and I don't have enough blocks to bridge out, what if I somehow make a flying machine? and escape using that. I have like 50 seconds before I die. Since I've already built out this way, this is gonna be the safest option to build. So wasting no time, I built the flying machine. As soon as I break this, it's gonna go off. I'm off, I'm flying away. Oh my God, I'm leaving the island behind. After traveling 100 blocks, I saw my escape. Okay, one second, oh my God. I left my alt account in the trap. So if they came to check up on me, they'd see I'm right there. Using the remaining time I had, I had to come up with a plan to get infinite hearts. So I needed to collect resources, which involves mining this tree. I got five logs. I need more wood, so let's mine down this entire forest. And now I have a lot of wood. And it's good because I actually see no one around right now. So before I get spotted, I'm going to quickly make two escape rooms. And using those escape rooms, I'm going to gain an infinite amount of hearts. This has to be the best plan. Now this looks like a normal box. How is this an escape room? I'm going to place buttons everywhere till this entire room is filled with buttons. And just like so, it's done. All I need to do now is block this off. The customer will pick a room and then he'll have four minutes to escape it. But little does he know while he's escaping the room, I'm inside his house stealing everything he has. So when he wins and wants the reward, it's all his loot. And instead, I'm going to be getting the hearts he has. And since I can't be caught, you're going to be the shopkeeper. I didn't really think about how I'm going to take this guy back. Okay, we're finally back. Let me, let me open this up. In you go. Okay, you're completely stuck now. I actually put two hoppers down each side and use the signs to explain the room. Well, I didn't tell you, Summer. If they pick the easy room, I'm gonna steal their loot from their house and give the items back to get hearts. But if they pick the hard room, there's a chance that lava will spawn and it'll kill them. Let me take their hearts. All I need to do now is wait for our first customer. Oh my god, is that Barnick? So this is the escape room? Since Barnick's gone into the easy room, that gives me five minutes to find his house and steal everything from it. I don't have much time. Food, bro, I'll take the food. Oh my god, the jackpot. I've just got full OP netherite. I need to rename this because I don't have much time. Yo, this is a scam, bro. No, it has to be a scam. This is literally not working. I've renamed all the gear. And since there's two minutes left, can I find anything else in this house? Oh my god. Bro, what is it blew up? Oh my god. Wait, what the- Oh, Creeper! Creeper, you're insane! Since the Creeper blew up, it uncovered a secret chest where he was storing his hearts. Okay, about two seconds left before he escapes. There's some on the roof. I had- I didn't even see these. There we go, I threw it all. So when he comes out, you'll think the villager threw it. And now I just wait. He's right there. He's about to finish any second. Oh my gosh, wait, when did this open? Oh my god, wait. We got some armor and... Oh, we got both our hearts. Let's go! Oh my god, he doesn't know it's his own loot! With Barnick now telling everyone about the escape room, now's the time I really get hearts. Because someone's gonna instantly pick the hard room and they'll die. Meaning I'm up so many hearts. That's Nipsey. Wait, I gotta give three hearts? All right. Fine, you know what? Fine. He's giving the three hearts. This is good. <gasps> the door is open. Oh my god. Next... This guy doesn't wait, know. Wait. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> no quit. <laughs> Okay, I, I need to escape this place. And I've got these hearts. I have six hearts now. The problem was the escape rooms only worked once. So I had to come up with a new plan. And in search of my new plan, I uncovered something important. Welcome to this meeting, man. Hello, you are, you ready? There's a command block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, so as you can see, what we have here is uh, it's a command block. We're going to load up this command block with some commands. We're going to spawn them and then the immortal player is going to kill them. Oh okay. my god. It turns out they were cheating. They're using NPCs to exploit infinite hearts. So the immortal player has an infinite heart generator. So it's like a, a player, a new player every single time. Dude. Oh my god. Cards, oh my god, like this is bad. If they can do this, that means all the progress I'm going to make is for nothing. Okay, I have an idea that involves my ult. So I have a bunch of TNT and before they come back, I'm going to blow up their house. Because once the house blows
goes up, it's going to cause a distraction, making them run away from the command block. Say goodbye to your house. And now I hide a little bit. They've been alert. Uh, we got to go now. They gone perfect. Okay, I've gained two hearts, which is good. Since I'm not up, I can't activate the NPCs. So instead, I'm going to try break this command block. I'm going to try to break it the same way you break bedrock. And I've got one shot at this because they're probably on their way back right now. Put this here, please, 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 please. Please, I've broken it. They're on their way back right now, but I can kill two birds with one stone by quickly digging a pitfall. And voila, it's done. So now when they've rushed back to the command block, they'll activate the piston, making them fall to their death. I'll gain a heart while ruining their plans. What? The command block's got the command block. Where is it? You need to get, Ooh, you need to get the immortal player right now to investigate this guy. Yeah. Oh my god. No, no, they're not gonna fall for oh, it. I'll see if I can find the command Wait. block. Oh Who's my it? god! Oh my god! I need to get out of here before he comes back. Since I've bought myself an extra hour, I'll move on to my next plan. After overhearing a conversation about Nesta wanting to gamble. I thought this was a perfect opportunity for me to gain fast hearts because he's one of the people that has the most hearts on the server And he sided with the immortal player. So if I can steal his hearts, I could become as strong as him So I invited him over. All right, let's see some gambling. Okay, yo, you're supposed to be in the hole I won't speak about it if you don't. Well, let, let, let's just, you know, ignore what just happened and uh, let's get straight to it okay, okay, how many hearts you have? I have 80 hearts on me right now. 80? Come on, come on, come on, give it to okay, me. Okay, what's on. it gonna be? Yes! Oh! I just lost 40 hearts! Yeah, I'm going all in. Oh, oh wait, wait. Oh, no! no! When Nesson now giving me his cheated hearts, I was slowly getting stacked, but I still needed more. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go now. Quick, okay, please, guess... you have to help me. Oh my please, god. Please, please, please. Okay, I don't have a lot of time. The immortal player, he wants my hearts. Okay, I don't have that many. He wants over a hundred, okay? I need to win hearts fast. I learned what the immortal player was trying to do. He was collecting tax on people's hearts. And if this continued, he'd have over 1,000 hearts by the time I fight him. I had to rig this machine so I could take all her hearts for myself. Yeah, I could do red. You've put your hearts in and off we go. I'm rooting on, for you. Please. I don't like the immortal player. On, please, please, I need this. Oh my. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave. This is not working. No, no, stop, 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 stop. With Kipley about to leave, I had to persuade her to stay. All this plan would backfire and I'd be nowhere. Okay, I guarantee if you put it on black, you'll win. All right, I'm I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you on this. Okay, off we go. Off we go. Come on. Come on, please. This time. I'm rooting for you. It's black. Oh, I told you. Right. It's black. You are so right. Oh my god. How many do you have? I have 89 hearts. I need 100, but I don't know, man. This is still too risky. I think I'm going to go to the building competition instead. But thank you. This has been great help. The plan worked. Kimberly trusted me enough to tell me what she was going to do. And that involved going to a heart building competition. Now, if I go there, I can triple my hearts using a secret method, of course. All right, and there you go. I've given you my heart. Now that I've joined the building competition, I could go forward with my real plan, which was to make an infinite death trap machine. So when they check it out, they'll be trapped in an infinite death loop and I'll be gaining all my hearts. The death trap's looking pretty good so far. Whenever they right click the bed, they've set the spawn which will activate the trap. Lava will pour out and it will infinitely kill them. And when they respawn, they're at the bed. Doing it all over again. Lava will burn all this wood. Okay, there we go. It's fixed. I've only got one lava bucket though. While Kipley's building them up, I'm gonna go get more lava. Subscribe! Okay, I don't have much time. Take all this. It should be enough. Time to go back up. I need to sneakily wake my way back. Fill this all with lava and it's done. One of you actually followed the prompt. Just to give me the benefit of the doubt, I'll take a look at this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. It, it's a hologram. Like, if you go inside here, click on the bed, both of you guys. Ah! Okay, I'm going, bro. Click on the bed. Whoa. Oh, oh my god. god. No. Yes. No. Yes. What? Perfect. This is good. This is good. This is good. I took all their hearts, but before they were banned, they disconnected. Wait, they're right there. What are they planning? Guys, remember the plan, okay? If, if, if anything happens, you guys need to give me your hearts before you guys die, okay? That's the plan. <laughs> Wait, what? Forget it. It turns out Linux made a death loop. So when we fight, he's going to be cheating by taking all their hearts mid-fight. Now, I had to find out exactly where this was and do it myself. Oh my god, I found it. So when they die, I'll be getting hearts midway. And he'll be so surprised. Alright, so basically we go in into Linux death loop. So since he told us to do so. Oh my god, I barely escaped that. The five hours are up, Quiff. It's over. <laughs> You have to fight me. Come here. I am. I, I know over. I know why they call you it's... the immortal player. Yeah, I'm not scared of why? you. I, I overheard your conversation. With who? And I've replaced the lava oh. with mine. So I'm getting my hearts now. You're going to die any second. One more hit. Wait. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I just killed the most immortal player on the server. And my hearts are still going up. This is, this is kind of broken. Oh my god. Subscribe right now. I'm becoming invincible. But months had now passed. And for every day I didn't log on, my hearts were slowly depleted. 
until it was the Hearts Festival again. The Hearts Festival has started, meaning anyone below 50 hearts in 3 hours will be banned. You can gain hearts any way you want, except no killing. Time starts now. Go! In 3 hours? Seriously? Okay, I'm out. What? I'm what? gone. Okay. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Go, 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 Everyone rushed outside the building, preparing for the Hearts Festival. And as soon as I tried to get my first heart, yo, what is that? I'm on 0% health. This only happened as soon as I left the room. I've got to be slightly careful now, because any sort of damage will now kill me, including a grass bush. But wait, what's that? Don't know if anyone's there. But if I want my first heart, I need to investigate this machine. Yo, what's going on over here? I see Kipley and Emo. My guy Emo, what is this, man? The machine of wonders. Machine of wonders? What are they doing? If I'm stuck on 0% health, is everyone else? I need to find out. And if you hit any of these, you will get a heart in return. No, I can see her heart right there. She's got 20, meaning I'm the only one affected by this glitch. All right, so I get my hearts now, right? Yep, of course, of oh, course, of course. What just happened? I've seen Kipley fly up into the sky. That was a whole explosion. Meaning if I arrived first, I would have been the one to be shot up and instantly killed. Is that TNT Minecart? If I shoot it. Oh, oh, yo, that was the most big brain thing ever. And I've collected all these loot, but I didn't gain a heart, but I acquired full netherite. This means there's no way for me to redeem hearts through killing. And that's why I'm going to use this netherite to get some golden apple. Sauceless, there's your gear. Take it, full netherite. You can check it yourself. It is, yep. And I'll take those golden apples. Well, here you go. Perfect. And now that I've acquired a golden apple, I can now test if I'm able to gain absorption hearts. Okay, please, 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 please. All the effects are there, but there's no absorption. You can't be serious. What is this? This is no longer a glitch. Instead, someone's made it that I will lose the Hearts Festival and be banned from the server. But there's still one thing I haven't tried, and I don't have it in my inventory. Since I need 50 hearts, and I currently have zero, I need a way to gain them fast, which led me to building this machine. And it looks good. And in my inventory is a thing called Empty Heart. Now, there's actually no way for me to redeem this because it doesn't really help me. It's not even a real heart. If I I just put it inside the anvil, remove the empty, and voila, I now have a heart. And now I'm gonna give them a chance to win this fake heart for some real ones. I'm gonna take this diamond block out and put the heart in, and we're done. Although to make myself less poor, and just in case anything goes wrong, I'm wearing diamond. Everyone constantly looking for hearts. It took no time for people to arrive. Yo, Quiff, I'm here. All right, listen. Inside one of these chests is a heart. And if the light lands on it, you could take the heart and walk away a winner. Okay, but what's the catch? Is, is you, Quiff. Okay, listen, the catch is it costs one heart to play. Well, that's fine. I have 10 hearts on me right now. Yeah, I can see you're pretty stacked right now. So let me see it. Oh, okay. If you want to give me the one heart. Okay, there we go. And it's now off. You're aiming for one of these chests and inside oh. one of these chests is a heart. How do I know that all these chests aren't already empty? Because check the middle one. Okay. Okay, yeah, fair enough. All right, give me one more and we go again. And it's going off, it's going off, it's going off. Which one is it going to be? Bro, this is rigged. It's rarer to land on the same one. With Luffla having really bad luck, my machine was looking very suspicious. And the plan was about to fail. This is it, this is it, this is what you've waited for. This is exact. We'll land on the same oh! oh! Oh, look oh! at that, you did it. You actually got the heart. That. That's Thank all yours. Thank you very much. You can leave. Okay, so long, Quiff. With one fake heart, I managed to get free, meaning the plan was a success. So let's do the same thing. I'm gonna remove the empty, and boom, I have another fake heart, which is gonna go back in this chest. And Kipley's gonna walk in any minute. Any minute, please? Quiff, sorry I was late. Emor tried to murder me, but I'm here. Okay, perfect. You've got 20 hearts. That's what I see. I want every single one of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I getting out of this, huh? A chance to win one heart inside here. All right, here you go. Okay, perfect. And now your aim is whoa. to land on one of these chests. One of the, It's a random chest. Any chest can hold the heart. Oh, Congrats! Let's go! I want to play again. And we're going again. We're going again. We're going Come again. On. Another one. Double one. Oh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh. oh. oh is the heart not in this one? Nah, you you kind of you kind of oh. lost everything. Well, I really just broke even now. If you think about it. Whatever. I'll leave. This is. I don't want to lose anymore. Okay. Yeah, that's completely fine with me. But with Kipley losing most of our hearts, I finally had enough to leave this place behind. And I could finally test if I'm able to redeem real hearts. I've acquired 16 hearts. And they're real hearts. But why can't I redeem them? These are completely useless. It must be because I'm on 0% health. The game registers me as already dead. Meaning this entire festival's against me. Quiff has been caught killing Emo. He's been sentenced to death. You are free to kill him. Wait, this is kind of bad. Someone saw me kill Emo. I reported it to Cash. Meaning I'm the most wanted man on the server. And since a single bush could kill me, my chances of surviving are extremely low. But I've loaded my ult. And it says he has two hearts. This could help me escape the 0% trap. But my ult's also on 0%. Bro, what? And I still can't redeem the hearts. This means my accounts have been hardware trapped. 
and the player behind this all was prepared for everything. So this account's kind of useless right now to me. Oh! Yo, 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 yo. I need to kind of run. Bro, what was that? My old account was killed right in front of me, meaning people really want me dead. And if I want to survive, I need to find a way to become immortal on 0% health. Either way, now I have 20 hearts. And thank you, server, for announcing it to everyone with my cords. But this might work in my favor. I was to use the hearts as bait. I could lure someone to a certain area and build a trap underneath. For example, right here might actually work. This needs to go deep enough to kill them in one drop. This should kind of work for now. It's a pretty big hole. Good thing I have this in my hand. I gotta be very careful because even one stab will kill me. I'll put it there. Fill this place with signs and cover it with carpet. I just need to leave the 20 hearts there. Go deep underground. Where? So Where? You I know you're around right here. Where are you? Oh, hearts. Actually, oh, bird! He died! Can I collect this loot? Okay, uh, let me actually wear this just in case anything comes with me. I now have full netherite again and an instant health 2 potion. I can use this health potion because there might be a way to negate any sort of damage with the potion. And that's why I'm on single player. I'm gonna place a pig inside. You're gonna be my test subject. Let me place some dripstone here and time to test this. But I use this command, the dripstone's gonna fall and kill the pig. Can I? No, it's it can't not work. Really? Let me try it again. I just place you there. I don't think I timed it right. Alright, time test this again. It's falling? Wait, yo, you took no full damage. If this actually works, an instant health potion may be the only way to become immortal. One more time. He survived, brother. The pig never dies. Well, right now, I only have one potion, and I need at least a hundred. But there's people guarding the portal, and I can't really enter that. That's because the nether's being regulated, meaning you can only enter with a fee. But luckily, I have that right here. It costs 15 hearts. So, quick. Do you have the 15 hearts? Right here, take it. There you go, 15 hearts. Cool. All right then, you're free to go. Yep, all right, I'll see you guys soon. But that was the thing. As soon as I entered the nether, the worst was about to happen. Yo, wait. Oh! Oh! There's no one up there. That was insane. That was actually insane reactions. Let me break out this. Bro, as soon as I saw the obsidian, I knew I was inside a trap. Someone was out to kill me. But the potion worked or I'd be dead right now. And now with no potions, I wouldn't be able to survive another trap. So I had to find the player who has everything. And that is Vault. Heart required? Yo, who needs a heart when I can straight up just, when I can just mine in? I got mining fatigue? That must mean there's an Elder Guardian somewhere. Luckily, I have some hearts. So if I just throw this in, why is it not opening? And my heart disappeared. Yo, why is it not opening? Opening. I can't craft a boat though. Yo, I'll find a way to sneak in somehow. Is there no way for me to glitch in? What if I throw another heart? It's not opening. And that's when I realized you need the heart of the owner, aka Skidzy. And without it, there was no way for me to enter. But now I can't need to find Skidzy, who should be inside there. Skidzy. Oh, you're right there. Oh, hey, Quiff. What's going on, buddy? All right, listen. I see you have 46 hearts. Yeah. I'll give you these three hearts if you just give me one. Dude, what? Of course. That's a great deal. Yeah. Okay. Go, perfect. Bro. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to help. Help you, you know, reach the requirement. Wow, that, that's so kind of you, Quiff. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah, anytime, anytime. Because your vault's about to get raided, idiot. But now that I've successfully acquired his heart, I made my way back to his vault and was ready to steal it all. Please. I have his heart. I can put it in here and... Is it? Oh, yo! That's so smart. Oh, yes. Okay, there's the Elder Guardian. And totems? Yo, wait. I never thought my wolf totems helped me. Instant healing. I really don't need any of this loot. These are all mine now. Perfect. Yo, I'm stacked. Take all this. Hey, hey, Quiff. Uh, Bro, yo. What, are you, what are you doing in my back vault up. right now? Dude? Back up. Hey, 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 back hey, up. hey. What are you doing in my vault, dude? No, 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 no. Quiff, Quiff, get out. Okay, get out, no, dude. No, I'm, literally, I'm literally gonna kill you, bro. I'm gonna kill you, bro. Oh, get out. Yo, 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 yo. Get out of my vault. Yo, yo. Oh, my. No way. Bro, what are you doing here, dude? No get way. out of here. Here. No way, no way. I just need to spam it. Oh my god, die! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Bro, I'm get running out of potions. Here, I'm running out of potions. Kill you, dude. Oh, oh, yo, how? How did I kill him? This is an breaking free sword. I don't even know. But yo, I'm taking all this. Potions, these potions came in so clutch. And since he's dead, I have more time to raid this vault. And I've acquired unlimited resources to help me survive the festival. Attention, 30 minutes left till festival is over. Even though I figured out a way to not die, I'm still nowhere near 50 hearts. And I couldn't evade the ban. I have four hearts. So first, I need to find the player who put me on 0% because killing him would reverse this curse. And that's why, Kipley, I've come to you. Hello, Quiff. Now see, Kipley holds all the information on the server. And at a price, I could figure out who was behind all of this. Kipley, here you go. Four hearts. Every bit of hearts I have. And what do I need to do? Tell me. Who put me on 0%? Ah, I see, I see. All right. Listen carefully. Are you listening? Yep. First... You need the blood of a galaxy. Only then will you escape the machine, and this will lead you to the depths of the sea. 
we will finally be free. Rid Yo, just tell me where it is. Why are you told me a riddle? I'm afraid that's all I can offer you, my friend. Okay, well, all right. Uh, I need to figure out this riddle first. The blood of the galaxy. Would that mean the sun? Do I need to kill you? How am I even supposed to do that? Am I able to suck up the sun? I can't really suck the sun. Well, that kind of don't work. So uh, I guess I jump back down. Bro, what is this? Come on. Okay, what would the blood be? Wait, look at Sorceress. His face. Sorceress's skin is the galaxy. Meaning, do I need to kill him? And his name tag's right there. But he's in full netherite. And I only have seven potions left. But I do have lava bucket. First, I do this. The lava's right there. This will set his house on fire. Causing a quick distraction. No, 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 Okay, perfect. Oh, my. Splash myself with invis. Totem, I don't think you're going to be of any help. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, I patched the lava. I'm still on one heart, though. But it doesn't matter. Oh, map. Yo. Yo, wait. What building is that? There's no building like that on the entire world. But now I have the blood of a galaxy. So what's escaping the machine? It must be Toby. The bot. Because a bot is a type of machine. I think this is Toby's house. So if I go to his house, I'll maybe find something. I'm going to kind of break into a house. There must be something I'm missing. Is it at the top? No, because it's all ocean. But wait a second. This would lead you to the depths of the sea, where you'll finally be free. Meaning at the top of Toby's house might be the answer. Okay, I, I really don't I, don't... I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm from my render distance of 32, and it must be there. Only one way to find out. Okay, and... Oh, easy. I must be close. It has to be around here, right? Because right now I'm in the middle of the ocean. Yo, 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 yo. Wait, that's a command block. I watched this on my screen. Yo, I don't know what I'm seeing on my screen. Command block's right here. I think first I need to patch this up. Is there anything around here other than the command block? I've only got one shot at this. Trapdoor goes there. TNT, lever. I hope this totem works. I don't I might die from this. Okay, the command block's gone, but I don't know if it worked. Wait, my heart's gone back to normal. The command block was the cause of my 0% health. And now that it's destroyed, I was back in the festival. I've only got one heart and nothing else. And with 10 minutes left, I had to get 50 or I'll be banned. Time to improvise. Selling everything you need here at spawn. And now people should come running to the shop. Hey, quiff, quiff, quiff. So somebody killed me. And I need some armor. All this? Oh, you could take it all? Wait a minute. Let's try it. Oh, you realized? Yo, wait, he's chasing me. He's chasing me. Yo, I need to dip. I need to dip. I need to dip. I've got hearts. But I still need 33 more in eight minutes. Toby, 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 Toby. There you go. You wanted four totems? There you go. Four totems. How many hearts can you give me? Uh, 15? I'll take 15. Why do you even need hearts? You can't even redeem them. Yo, wait. Why can't I see your hearts up there? Hey, let me back away slightly. No one should have known I was on 0% health. But Toby did. I also couldn't see how many hearts Toby was on. And my gut was telling me he's the entire reason I was trapped. Yo, hey, yo, I now know who did it. I, kn I know who did it now. I don't have any armor. I was kind of stupid. I sold everything. There was no way I could kill him. He found a way to keep himself alive non-stop using the totems I just handed him. How would you kill someone who's immortal? You can't. But you can trap them in the void where they'll never escape. Five minutes till festival's over. So that's why I'm back at the shop. I'm gonna go for this middle block right here. Right here is where you'll die. Do this, TNT, TNT. If I activate this, boom like that. Perfect. The void is now broken. I'm not even gonna make a trap. I'm legitimately just gonna put a dirt there. Stand right here and tell him to come to spawn. And now when he arrives at the shop, he'll fall into the hole. How many hearts can you give me? 17. All right, yeah, yeah. Can I take 17 hearts real quick? Uh, sure. All right, I'm going to give you the best item. You see, all these health potions. How good are these health potions right now? I'm no longer trapped and yeah, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, you're trapped forever, buddy. For a guy that was trying to act nice. He was an idiot, but nothing's popping up in chat. So he's trapped. Festival's now over. Anyone under 50 hearts will now die. Okay, let me redeem. Okay, there we go. I have 50 hearts, I think. 10, 20, 30, 40. I've got 49 hearts. Give me a heart, please. Yo, so I fell out of the world. Bro, am I banned? I respawned. Wait, how? And I'm back to 0% health. It seems like I broke the game. The game thinks I'm completely dead, which means I became immortal as I'm no longer alive or completely dead. This pig is immortal, meaning he can never die. But what if 100 players were after his life? Would he still survive? Well, it first started when I joined the server. The pet competition has officially started. The player with the least amount of mobs will be banned, and there is absolutely no cheating. I'm looking at you, Quiff, okay? Wait, why me? Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Everyone rushed outside the building, trying to find the best mobs possible. And that's when I came across this. Quiff, Quiff, come over here, quick. Okay. 
wait, wait, what's this? Quiff, you can win this chest plate up here, but you only have three snowballs. Wait, okay, really? These, so you have to shoot the snowballs onto the target blocks. You have to hit all three of them to win. Is that easy? Is that easy? Okay. Okay, go back to the red line and you can start whenever. I've got three chances. One there. Oh, I go like that, 30 degree angle, boom. You can only take the chest plate if you survive. Survive what? Whoa, whoa. Yo, 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 yo. What bucket? I have a water bucket. Yeah, you're an idiot. Please tell me I'm going to land this. Oh, what is this? People were out to kill me. And they were ignoring all the rules. They wanted me banned. But no one's really around here. Which means Luffler's already run away. But he left that. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna take this. And it's protection 10. Now I can keep this. Or I can sell it. Because currently I have zero pets. And if I don't want to be left behind. I need one right now. Quiff, I want that chest plate. I will sell you this frog. Wait, really? Yes. Okay, if you take this chest plate right here. And then okay, give me the lead. Okay, no trades back. I'm taking this frog. You're mine. And I need you for my next plan. Since I've acquired my first pet. I need over 100 more. So while everyone was distracted, I secretly dug down and built this. I just need to move you into here. Walk faster. And you're chained up. Place this here. And I'm done. I didn't really think about that. But the frog is the weakest mob in the game. And if I want to survive the competition, I need a lot stronger pets. And that's where this comes in. By clicking this button, the lights will go off. And I'll land on any of these. Instead of the currency being diamonds, I'm going to make them play with pets. With a winner gaining my amazing frog. Quiff, quiff. What is that? It's uh, it's my pet. I don't know if I'd class as a pet, but anything runs in this casino. I've come to bargain. Okay, the winning prize is this frog over here. Ooh, okay, he's cute. I'll do it. As soon as you click the button, the lights will go off. And your aim is to land on the diamond block. All right, that's easy enough. Okay, you have one shot of this. Click the button. Come on, please. And it's off. Okay, what are you going to get? What are you going to get? Come it could on, be anything. Diamond, diamond, diamond. And no. And uh, yeah, this pet is mine. Fine, you can take him. Okay, perfect. And yeah, the exit's right there. This place sucks. You're part of my property now. The Iron Golem is one of the strongest mobs in the game. And since Kipley just gave me one, my pet army was looking good. Quiff, I want to win my frog back. All you do is click the button and you can go. But you only have one chance oh. though. Okay, okay, okay. I'm ready. Right, I'm going to click the button for you. And it's going up. Okay, you can land on anything, but your aim is to go in the diamond. It's that simple. Right. And yeah, well, you can put the pig over here and the exit's Mr. right Piggy there. Though. Yeah, no, it was good doing business with you. With me now gaining free pets, I was ready to leave and play it safe till the competition was over. But then only Unexpected customer arrive. I'm here to collect my diamond chest plate. Give it back now. I, I don't know. Listen, relax. I don't have the diamond chest plate. I'm telling you, these, this is everything I have in my inventory. I've got no iron. I've got no diamonds. Just don't attack me. You're real. Give it Chill. back. Okay. It. Okay, I've rigged this place with TNT. You can't be serious, can you? Don't test me, Quiff. Give me the diamond chest plate. I now. don't have it. You never listen. What do you mean? Don't test me again. Bro, the you can take plate. this. One. Yo. Yeah. What do you mean? Yo, yo. Oh, what is this? Oh, he wasn't kidding. This entire place is blown up and all my pets are dead. There's no way. How did you survive? Even the Iron Golem didn't survive. Well, brother, we're leaving together if I can find an exit. But where did Luffler go? Luffler came prepared. Before he set off the TNT, he had an enderpearl stasis ready just so he could escape last minute. Okay, we're heading back to my house. Okay, please. Can you at least pick this up? Come on. I don't know what I'm hoping for. The pig can't hold anything other than a saddle. Unlike a fox who could use a totem, which makes the pig the weakest mob but that's why i'm on single player experimenting on two pigs and that's why i have full netherite because there's a way to turn the weakest mobs into the strongest mobs one pig's gonna have full netherite and the other pig will have nothing only if this works there's nothing on the floor i've got a netherite sword one i really took one hit for you to turn into that one two three five eight eleven twelve boom oh <gasps> And they dropped the netherite. Meaning there's a way to equip netherite onto a pig using one simple glitch. Oh, we're back on the server. But I have no netherite. And the only people who have netherite are the top players on the server. And since killing is banned, there's no way I can get any. But I can make a trade using this totem. I bought the good stuff. Three wither skulls. I see. Okay, here's the totem. All right, here's your three heads. Go do business with you. That's all I really Splendid. needed. Now that I acquired three wither skulls, I was able to make the wither. But instead, I'm here to hire you more. Hello, hello. Oh, what for? I need you to go into someone's house and steal netherite for me. Do you have the wither skulls? There you go. Free wither skulls. You can make yourself a wither. Right, okay. Thank you very much. And now with the player hired, I could steal netherite without breaking the rules. It was Quiff. What do you it, mean it was, it was Quiff. Quiff? He sent you here? Emo was caught. I need leaked. I was the culprit behind the entire plan. No, uh, no, I'm going to uh, die the hole, buddy. He died. 
No, he actually died. I'm kind of in the middle of spawn right now. And since Kipley knows it's me, she's going to be after my life, which makes protecting my pig so much harder. So for now, I'm going to kind of leave you in here. Don't move from this spot. And you're just going to stay there. With my pig now safe, I needed to break the rules. And that means killing Kipley. That's why I kind of need you. You're going to kind of impersonate my pig. But my fake pig isn't enough to fool her. And that's why I've also brought my ult. Now I need to give this to you. And using my ult, I go far away. And this spot looks kind of nice. Because there's nothing around me. Yeah, seriously, all I need to do is just stay here. Since Kipley wants to kill my pet, I'm just gonna let her. Because when she does, she'll fall into the real trap. Okay, first it involves a lot of digging. So far, it looks kind of cool. But since Kipley is one of the strongest players on the server, she won't fall for some normal traps. So I just need to continue digging. And there we go. Now I've got to place a bunch of signs. Like this. And once the signs are all placed, I need to place the moss carpet. I bring my ult back to this spot. We're gonna die. And create the real trap underneath. Which will pretty much just be a bunch of lava like this. Covering this entire place. And just above it will be a bunch of TNT. Uh, yeah, this looks kind of good. The aim is for her to fall onto the TNT. And once the TNT blows up, fall into the lava and die. And since netherite doesn't burn in lava, I'll pick up all the loot. I'm just gonna watch from a safe distance. Because I'm completely hidden right now. She's right there. You did this to yourself, man. You should have hired anymore to come and steal from me. And now both you and your freaking pig. Wait, no, 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 no. Give me a white can I move? Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, she just died. What is all this loot? I've got a chest plate. I've got legs. I've got a helmet. Where's the boots? Right here. And they have full netherite. Which means the plan worked. And now I could make my pig the most of a powered pet on the server. Okay, you're somewhere around here, right? Oh, you're right there. Okay, you're staying there. I'm gonna put all this netherite in here. Go, go, go. Perfect. So now if I take you, you come over here. I'm sorry, pig. If this doesn't work, my entire plan's failed. Got netherite sword. One, two, six, nine. Perfect. Okay, I, I can't remember how many it was, but I knew it was around the 10. Right, you're pretty much a mole. I do need to heal you. Uh, do you want to eat some steak? Because I don't know if that helps. But with my pig in full netherite, he still wasn't immortal. And I needed to make him stronger. And that's why I'm back on single player with two amazing pigs. Now this one already has netherite, but am I able to stack it? Okay, that doesn't work. But am I able to equip multiple armors onto one pig? I put diamond in here, but it's not there. I need to test it. So 1, 9, 11, 29, 30, 31, 32. <gasps> I just picked up all the gear, which means it works. And now I'm back on the server. But how do I get you more armor? Now I can go mining, but by the time I finish, the competition will be over. And that's why we're going to make our way to this house. I've heard a rumor that a player's been cheating. He's using a glitch to get spawn eggs. And because... Because of that, he has a crazy mob army. And that's why Toby, what? I need you. Take this diamond block and you're gonna sell this pig to Zetro. Okay. Take that. Since the player also holds every piece of armor I need, why not kill him? But the problem is his house is impossible to find. But one pet he doesn't have is my netherite pig. And all I need is this invis potion because I'll turn invis like this. And I'm gonna use the invis to infiltrate his base. Because when Toby sends my pig to Zetro, I'll be on top of the pig, hiding in plain sight. Cool, and you still haven't left. And there you go. He's not even able to tell I'm here. This was such a big brain play. Now I need to wait for the trade to be finalized, and then I'll have the most overpowered pet ever. So is this the uh, the netherite pig that you were selling? Do you want to test it? Or? Uh. Oh, wait. Is it going <laughs> to hit me? Oh, oh. wait. You can uh, use the vet if you want. Am I going to... Oh. oh my, okay. Oh, this okay, is perfect. I, I almost died though. That was close. If he hit me, I would have died. Okay, okay. I believe you now. Uh, nine never wait in goods. Oh, is it no. nine? I okay. give you a diamond block, brother. You know brother. what? That's actually worth it. Oh my, okay. Yo, th those could be mine. This Thank is you. the most big brain strat ever. And now Zetro's leading me straight into his base where I could sabotage his entire army. What is this base? Where am I even going in? I did not notice a single one of this before. But where's this secret room? Take me down. Come on, buddy. Here's your new Yo, home. Come on, get this? in there. There we go. I've got mining fatigue. He's gathered every mob here. Oh, but I don't have an ender pearl. Ender pearl? Okay, perfect. I'm out. But I'm now inside his base. He has skeletons, pillagers, blazers, a laze. There's so many mobs in here that can one-shot my pig. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to place all of these here. I'm going to let all you guys out. You guys are now free. Why are you guys fighting me? Out you go. Perfect. Boom. Okay, this is kind of crazy. Wait, where did the water come from? With a mass fight breaking out, it was a big enough distraction to lure him back downstairs. And all his mobs were dying. What is going on? This oh, is this perfect. is bad. Oh, no. Okay, what's in this chest? This is it. Okay, I don't need half this loot. Take all this loot. And I'm just going to take all of this. Yeah, yeah, it's all mine now. And now I have a bunch of armor. Is he FK? Perfect. 
Nope, he died. Well, I didn't expect it to be that easy, but turns out he was messaging the owner, asking for his base to be restored. He had eggs. He had so many eggs. What is that? First of all, I can't even eat this. And pig, we're kind of getting out of here. Let's run away. But killing him wasn't enough because he'd respawn and abuse the same glitch. I had to get him banned. And that's when I messaged the owner, showing him footage from the replay files. Zetro's been banned? It worked. Because what I'm going to do now is you could take all this loot. Equip. Yeah, this guy is not dying. I've actually made a pig a mole. This guy's insane. Look at this. But I can make him even stronger. I could use resistance potions. And once they splash on the pig, it will then become unkillable. I'll just leave you here. As I was searching for potions, I suddenly got a message. I heard you've been looking for resistance potions. Come to those courts. This is a little sus. But this might be my only lead on potions. I think I'm almost here. I think that's it. After making my way to the structure, I was ready to collect the potions. This must be it. Wait, what's this? Where where did this come from? It turns out I walked into a trap and I was encased in barriers. I can't escape this. Why did they lead him into the trap? What I didn't know was they were trying to kill my pig. Okay, wait, this is bad. I don't really have anything. Come on, please. Blow up. There's barriers on the floor too. Because I don't know how long my pet will last. Llama? Bro, I can glitch out. I can glitch out with you. Thank you, spawn eggs. Now if I spawn a llama in here, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, perfect. I'm kind of sorry you had died, but it helped me. I rushed back to my base to find them beating my pig. They're like right there, they're right there. But there's three of them, meaning they'll kill me in a fight. But I have TNT. Set this off as a distraction. What was that? You're alive. I don't know how low you are. You probably are very low. With my pig completely safe, it was time to get my revenge by killing them all. And I think it might be done. As soon as they click this lever, the drip still will fall, killing them. Oh. Oh, oh no, please! Run. They all died! What's down here? All their loot! This is insane! And as soon as they died, the festival was over. Meaning it was time for battle. Okay, yeah, I brought my pig. I brought my pig right here. It's here. I've got where wait, where's your guys' pets? Quiff, this entire competition was about whether you could bring a pet to us that could live or die. If it lives, you live. If it dies, you die. So this competition was fake from the beginning. A pig <laughs> can't fight. Okay, you know what? I'm prepared for this. What I didn't tell you was, just in case anything went wrong, I had a lightning rod ready. That'd make my pig into his final evolution. Oh, there we go. Fight. That's not going to do anything better, go, Quiff. Go, 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 go. Stupid Perfect. pig. Source is careful. He's after you, man. He got you. Oh! No! Yes! Oh! Dragon, shut up! Yes! Tell me! Tell me, kill it! Oh my! <laughs> You're insane! There's no way that just happened. My pig killed everyone, meaning I survived. And I realized the pig never died.